All right, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, and welcome to the stream today. It's Station Here's Kate is here. We'll get him online here soon. Ben will be here in about an hour or so. Uh, let me make sure uh, A, whatever I'm saying is actually coming over because you never know what changes and it's always important. And evidently, hang on, Twitch says I'm dropping frames, but OBS says I'm not. I think Twitch is being twitchy. Tea and some snacks. Um, why does Twitch think that my bitrate is too high? I don't think it's too high. I haven't changed anything. Hang on, let me check some stuff. Uh, output, no, that's still the same. Nothing's changed. I think Twitch is having problems. Again, maybe. Let me, um, let me close my browsers. If you relaunch it, could be just a browser. That, that, that. Oh, oh, oh. No, no, no. Hang on. Made a mistake. Mistakes are made. Sorry. Sorry. All right. That was close. Uh, no. So Twitch still says my average stream bitrate is too high. OBS is not reporting it, and it seems very consistent. Actually, it is above 6,000 KPI. I'm not going to worry about it. So I'm going to go over here and um, check on the audio. Audio looks good or sounds good, not looks good. All right, sweet. I'm not going to... I'll let Twitch catch up or something. I don't know. Um, 
So they're reporting that I have 5987. OBS says 63, 62. So someone's lying here. Good. Good. Mm. Well, life's good. All right, let's switch over here. I got to get my headset on. I got stuff I got to do here. Hopefully I charge it this time. Looks like it's charged. All right, let's uh, mute the desktop. Oh, hey. Um, I think that works. Okay, um, I need to do a couple quick things here real quick. That was not one of them. Actually, that is one. Do that. That. And um, let's go over here and do that. That looks like it's working. Okay. And um, that's it. All right, let's launch Stationers. A game that takes forever to launch. Should nickname, nickname it Station Years. So, hang on, I'm gonna show my stream here real quick. It muted. I don't know why Twitch, so in my in my dashboard, they say that my bitrate is wrong. But, um, uh, let's see here, it looks like, hang on. Um, yeah, thanks, Kate. I appreciate it. Yeah, I don't know why Twitch is saying this. They, they, they're probably having some back-end issues. Uh, if I go to settings, quality, on auto, how do I actually see to close the player and relaunch the players that have that one? 360p oh 1080p 60 all right sweet nice all right i'm not gonna worry about that i'll worry about what obs says all right so load in our save Hey, there's the boys, <clears throat> the gents, and um, the temperature should be going up. Hmm. That should be open too. All right, let's um, let's see here. Ox up, hi Ox. She saw I left donuts out for her, and she smiled at it. Yes, yes, donuts. Get thirty minutes of lots of energy, and then you have a crash. <laughs> 
Uh, we need to uh, rename this thing. That makes sense. Copy that. Paste that. This way. This out. And all we want to say is turn on that digital valve. Digital. It's got to be it. Passive cooling. Yep. So turn that on based upon. Oh, that's sending a zero. Huh. Um, oh, that's right. It should only turn on if it gets too warm. All right, so I made a mistake. All right, so logic compare. Uh, should I go backwards? Probably. Logic compare. A lot of memory over here. Passive cooling. Passive cooling. That on. Zero. All right. So right now it's too cold. It's going to warm up because of the sun. But if it gets too warm in there... Wait, is that warming up? Yep, all right, good. All right, problem solved. Not that there was a problem. All right. So, um, when Ben shows up, he's going to continue to work on the um, gas cooling. We have three, oh, three generators for gas cooling. Um, I caused a fire, and I was very sorry about that. Hopefully, I don't do that again. So we moved our logic for the gas filtration up here. Does everything else burn to the ground? And uh, we'll test that out here in a little bit. Um, I, hey, Monster, good morning. I have asked Kata to uh, start on the um, rocket launch site. And he said, uh, sure. Last time I did it, I blew up my whole site. I said, sorry. Is that you, Kata? Yes, that's me. Good morning. How you doing? I'm good, thanks. All right, sweet. Um, let me get a uh, save here. Save as. Um, we're on part 55. Now, have you made sure you don't have that network paint mod installed? That's when I check. Yeah, that, that'd be good. Am I good to help it? Did you just call me a pelican? I asked if I was good to help it. Wait, one more time. That's asking if I'm good to hop in. Oh, no, no, not yet. I'm right in the middle of a save. And for some reason, this will either recover or I have to kill it and then it uh, will be fine for some reason. Save as is or like there. OK, uh, yeah, go ahead and hop in. I just swore, I just swore you said you look like a pelican. I, said, I do not. Yeah, a couple donuts here, Alex, huh? Nice. Uh, couple. Yeah, it's really foggy out. I'm just making sure I got the password right this time. Yeah, we did discover a couple of hiccups with that, didn't we? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to change up some of the logic and then I'm going to work on the rocket site. Excellent. All right, let me let me run over and oh geez, I just ran into a building. Last time Ben got stuck in his chair. You look like you're good. All right. Um. Do, 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 do. Pop out my oxygen. Dump my CO2. Okay, we're gonna go. Change up the jetpack fuel. Excellent. All right, so I'm going to load up on some frames. I, I, I have a kind of an idea where uh, 
like the rockets here to me. What's that? That needs to spot that. Just as long as it's nice and far away. Well, I, I thought what I would do is um put this wireless power network to work and put the rocket site towards site B but away from dice so it'll be way far away. Old Grumpy, how you doing? Harry knows Pitts. I, I, I've never met him. How's Harry doing? All right, so what do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, eight. Yeah, it's right here. Call Kata off the top of your head. What is the um the because the, the old launch pad I think was like five by five or something like that. You know if it's the same size or is it bigger? No, the actual block is just a it's a it's, it's a single frame, but um, I'd probably build a five by five. All right. Likes it. All right, so we're looking for the frames. Take these. Checking all the lockers. Do we ever, did, uh, Kate, I'm sorry to keep hitting you with questions. Did we get the logic for, um, when power gets down to a certain percentage that the fish tank kicks in? That's what I'm just fixing now. Okay. All right. Could not remember. Walk over and check Ben's area here. Make sure, uh, stuff is still here. Loaded pipes, dory, and extract. Guys, I'm going to go mute for just a couple minutes. I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back and back and back. Hey, I'm just doing one of the final tests, and it should all be working. And uh, I had to mess around with it, but it's quite genius. Okay. The um, what is the uh the threshold we set for on that one? Fifty percent, and then it will it will charge up to ninety. Okay. Is it currently on? We're only at sixty-four percent. So that means because I think the last time I I I set it to I turned the switch on so it's on so so in other words the generator's not on correct? Yeah, so logic full still. All right, sweet. I'm using power channels to um, to send uh, uh, signals on power cables. I never heard of that. What is that called again? Our channels? Uh, yes, so you can bypass, um, you know, uh, transformers and stuff. Usually, stop logic. You can oh, oh right, I okay. You, you can use uh, uh, um, IC go to transmit data on that. Oh, so you can only do it in in the MIPS and not. Okay, interesting. So it's not an option through a normal circuit then. No, you can only use it in IC. Gotcha. Sounds ingenious and dangerous at the same time. Yeah, the the value you send on the power cable, you should only send um, value you can um, constantly update. You should store data on there. It, it doesn't persist between saves, so like as soon as you um, stop the game. It will, it will completely clear that memory. Oh, okay. All right. So it's it's a what do you call it? A volatile memory? It's non-volatile. Yes. Means yeah. Okay, that's right. Yeah. It's been a while. All right. So, uh... Uh, you'll have to watch your Twitch check. Twitch has said they're increasing their prices to help people compensate for the content creator. I highly doubt you'll see a dime. I didn't read anything about that yet. Uh, let's see here. So, why? Oh, 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 I wonder if... I wonder if I'm charging a battery downstairs.
All right. All right. Let's go ahead and swap that now. Electro. Yeah, but it's all working. I fixed my error. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. It's a fantastic day. I'm uh, working on a an area for the rocket. Kate is going to start working on the rocket. Ben should be here soon. So, um, you might need some Omni thingies for, uh, power out there. I'll let you figure out where to put those. I'm just going to build the, the work area for you. Ow. Ow. I haven't. And a steel frame just came flying at me. Oh, yeah, that was happens Omni thingies technical term thingamabob Right now our, our power source is solar and I have a little trickle fed um, solid generator downstairs on, on a little bit of automation. Kata's uh, fish tank or water cooled uh, generator is set to fire off when the downstairs power gets to 50%. So uh, I don't think we're quite there yet. I think it was six. Flickering moon, bug, or sun.
dude. How you doing? Thank you for the 100 bits, man. I appreciate that very much. Set to flatten. Oh, that's where the other... Okay. Then we... Let's put this belt there. <laughs> that's not... Okay. Oh, uranium. Hey, good morning, Ben. How you doing? Finish the shelves. Um, the uh, cleats, yeah, all the cleats are up on the wall, and I made a very simple tool holder, just a pencil holder, kind of a catch-all thing. And uh, uh, to, today, we're, we have some decent weather outside, and uh, Alex and I are going to take some scrap plywood and do a glue-up to make a couple of 12 by 12 sheets of plywood. Um, and I'm going to experiment with a, an idea of making a tool holder, just a very generic tool holder. And uh, I took, I, it's in the DIY. It's it's not that, you know, awesome or anything. So one, two, three, six, seven. But you know, it's, it's, it's a step in the right direction. I need three more. All right. A boot remover. Oh, you mean like, so uh, that's cool. I remember those. Well, you know, my, my biggest problem is too much stuff, not a, enough storage. And, um, and there's plenty of storage options too, so. I came out two, right? And then I, okay. And you know, you can watch as many YouTube videos, you can read as much. And it's very true that most YouTubers that have been doing whatever skill they've been doing for four, five, six years, have a knack, have a process, very familiar with their tools. And uh, you know, the power of editing and make it look so much easier. There you go. Yeah. I mean, uh, what I did was um, I, I, I took a couple pieces of uh, scrap plywood and I drilled dowels, uh, holes in them. What? Oh. And um, A, I didn't drill the holes deep enough the first time, so I had to go back and make them big enough. Or uh, And got the dowels in there glued. Pretty darn strong joint. I, I was able to break it, but, you know, it was just a test to see how dowel joinery was going to work and whatnot it worked for the most part
Oop, ran into a machine. I've been wanting to check out the Brazilian IPE wood, cheaper, super hard wood for longevity. I have not heard of that. I have some suit maintenance I have to take care of. I almost said soup maintenance. Oh. So Friday night, we had crab cakes. Was asparagus for supper very yummy by the way very fulfilling and uh last night we made uh an instapot burrito bowl which has been a a favorite and uh that'll warm you up and fill you up fast too then uh we have some leftover chicken so i've been having them marinate in some pickle juice and milk and uh hot sauce so i'm gonna make some chicken nuggets night bacon wrap sirloins were on sale oh nice that sounds yummy too alex makes some uh bacon wrap smokies those are good those are good yeah she's a green Well, you know what? Um, <laughs> on crab cakes, we did some um, horseradish sauce. OMG. Oh, man, because it's it's just hot enough to where you go, yeah, and your ears go, hello. So I might try some more of that horseradish sauce. Oh, yeah, kid, it turned on some power. Actually, I got spoiled when my mom tried making her own chicken nuggets, homemade buttermilk batter. I uh, just can't eat anything. Well, We've made homemade nuggets before. T t nothing super amazing, but they, they were good, you know, because the chicken's real and, and the time and effort. So, you know, it, it's yummy. But, yeah, the um, the first couple times we did it, we used the air fryer. So, it had to be small batches. So, we're going to do uh, oven bake this time. And, uh, like I said, they've been in the pickle juice, milk, hot sauce, marinade sauce since 8 o'clock last night. So... Thing is, you know, you try it once and, you know, if if it's almost there, then you just tweak it a little bit. You got a purple helmet. You know that, right? Ada? Best color. All right. Looks a little weathered, too. Did, have you been scratching on uh, frames or something? <laughs> my son's been throwing them at me. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I was just practicing my, uh, my over. This batch of frames should be the last batch of frames I need, and then uh, you'll have your... You can do with the, the, what you want with the space out there. Make your platform, put it where you need it. 
It was using platform, a tank and stuff. All right. Oh, right. You're using your helmet to break stones, making little ones out of big ones. I got you. So, um, I had this idea on Friday, so I didn't get to play Space Engineers with, uh, with Red and whatnot because uh, my internet was was flaky up until about, I'm gonna say about noon 30. And it was just the upstream, the download was fine. And uh, um, so I decided to make homemade chocolate chip cookies. And we have Ghirardelli chocolate chips. Is they semi-sweet or milk chocolate? Alex? Was it, was it semi-sweet? Chip, Ghirardelli. Milk chocolate? Which one? They're milk chocolate. Sorry, she's she's gaming. Can't interrupt her. Um, and um, oh no no stop stop making that. Okay good. Fine. And um, I thought to myself, why why just make one batch? So I made two batches. Not thinking, because the process was to take all the dry stuff, your flour and baking soda, salt and all that kind of stuff, mix it together set it aside completely forgot about that and i was mixing all the sugars the eggs the butter together all that kind of stuff and uh, uh we have a kitchen aid and um then when i got to the direction it says now slowly integrate the dry stuff i went uh oh <laughs> because i was saying this is half full right now i'm gonna run into some problems but uh it turned out so i made a very large lasagna dish because that was the biggest dish we had of uh, chocolate chip cookies. So I've been having some chocolate chip cookies throughout the week. They're pretty yummy. Share with the class, sure, sure. Oh, the thing about it is, you know, we've only been in the house for, well, October will be a year. August will be a year. So we haven't really, really used the oven. The stovetop, yeah, but not the oven. So trying to get used to, you know, when something says 375 for 16 minutes, do you go 16 minutes or do you go 14 and a half or something like that? So. So,
That is a little, a little warm. We have a uh, three days of the 70s coming up. I'm looking for here. I got lost. All right, I'm fine. Like two out of the three days, it's gonna be raining. Hey, look at that. Hey, look at that. Notable Joe, that's 75 months. Notable, thank you so much for that. Appreciate that very much. all good so let's go ahead and <laughs> put that there put that there let's grab that let's grab that switch out to default and we're gonna do a little vacuuming here So uh, this is going to be um, the rocket launch pad area, or rocket area. It is moving on from his uh, automated fish tank. I've, I've asked him, I've tasked him to uh, start with the rocket. And uh, he made a disclaimer, said when he did it, he blew up his whole base once. I said, okay, well, I'll, I'll build it way far away. You got enough room, Kata? Yes, yeah, it's plenty. And um, I've got a power transmitter here as well for you. Oh, good. Sweet. Thanks to the very special printer it needs. Ooh. Rocket. I didn't know they made it one just for rockets. Wow. If you're going to need other stuff, you might as well put the other printer and make uh, copies out here also. This is the only one I need for now. Okay. All right. So, uh, I was going to dye my suit purple, but um, I nearly died when I died the helmet. You got to do that inside the greenhouse, yes. Um, I am going to. A light out here. A work light. Oh, using all heavy cable. All right. Oh, no, not all. Yeah, the heavy cables are the rocket itself.
some lights. I've got one of the power transmitters on because those batteries were dead. Say again? I've got one of the power transmitters on because the batteries are on site B were dead. Oh, yeah. Am I looking? And what is with all the Z fighting there? It's ugly. That must be Ben. It is. Good morning, Andy. Good morning. Good morning. Your uh, coffee pot maker, did it wake you up with that fresh smell, uh, uh, you know, roasted coffee, or did you have to go wake it up? Nah, I have to wake it up. All right. That's not Z fighting. It's a lack of, oh, a uh, line, of, line of depth, depth, line of distance. Gotcha. Line of detail, level of detail. Oh, all right. Well, I was, I was guessing. Looks like Z fighting to me, which I never knew what that was until I started playing um, uh, Fallout. Basically, if you're trying to fit 10,000 pixels into an area that were four, you need to, oh, gotcha. Oh yeah, yeah. All right, so. Uh, I'm ready to jump in here. All right, uh, Katie, you, you good for a sec? Yep. All right, let me do a quick save. All right, go ahead, Ben. And of course, in Kerbal, when you try to um, try to squeeze too much stuff into one little area, you get that Z finding too. All the flipping, offsetting. I always liked how people said that. When you're doing clipping stuff in Kerbal, it was cheating. I go, well, it, it's it's part of the base game, so it can't be cheating. All right, 
think I'm in. All right. Last time you had furniture problems, so we're going to come over and check how your furniture's doing. Looks like you're good. Oh, I need to check the temperature of the greenhouse. Uh, it's a little bit too warm in there, so let's hopefully the cooling is working. Um, let's see here. It's sending a one. Oh, why is that not? So it says it's on, but it's not. All right, so we'll just, I'll fix it. I'm quite used to this actually. All right, so, um, All the logic off. Let me pull. to show you. Sorry, what was that? I have something to show you in the fishbowl. Oh, okay. Where am I wet? So you guys saw that, right? So um, the logic was working. It was it was passing a value of one, um, but the digital valve was not doing what it's supposed to do. Rebuilding, deconstructing, reconstructing, reprogramming works. That's and a then, the um, oh, sorry, geez, that's no, go, go, go. is uh, this green cable is the one connected to your battery, right? This IC here will read it, and it will um, hit the value of the battery, turn it into a percentage, and it will transmit it on the power connector rather than the data connector. And then the other one will then be able to read it. And that's kept me to be able to keep them isolated. Gotcha. So the, uh, the trigger is on the chip on the left here? Yeah, so the chip on the left is controlling the solar panels, the, the, the generator turning on um, and processing all the data, and the one on the right is um, calculating the battery percentage and then transmitting it through. Gotcha. Why not just use a regular I.O. chip for that, though? Uh, because I wanted to keep the network so like, separate. and. Um, I just wanted to do it because uh, I tried to work out how to do it and I eventually did it. Oh, okay. Alright, cool. <clears throat> That's usually caused because the game only sends a signal if the value changes. So if the load in state is different from the logic value, they get off like that. Oh, alright. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> All right, Ben, where you at? Um, the old uh, cooling system. Okay. Um, now you finished all the automation uh, after our fire, right? I think I did. Yeah. Uh, now, I might have missed the thing. No, I I had a staging set up to make sure that the poopy line was always uh, at a bare minimum, and you wanted to revisit that. Oh right. I know Ben's like that wasn't our fire. Fire. So um, over here, I had a um, turbo pump, and the turbo pump would only turn on if the poopy line was more than 200 kilopascals, then pass it on to the filtering system. 
and then it would just kind of build in the tank area until we got enough pressure i guess what whatever i can't remember what we had this set for over here when did this turbo pump turn on when there was any pressure at all now uh, it turns on to uh, <laughs> increase the pressure at the filter is at 13 megapascals uh okay banana dodo thank you so much for the raid there appreciate that so right so so this you've got two pipe analyzers here right hey banana yeah. so one is so you can maintain your 13 megapascals right uh-huh and the other one is to turn on the pipe analyzer in what condition the poopy line one um it's it's a power saving thing um it turns off the uh turbo pump when there's nothing to suck down so you yeah. you what do you what do you drain it down to zero yeah all right so that's going to always be on then pretty much uh yeah probably but, oh here's the memory chips all right um because if we have um back pressure regulators doing stuff that's a kind of minimal but then we have the gas centrifuge and then we have the uh, generator. So basically this turbo pump is always gonna be on unless we don't have anything running. Huh? Okie dokie. Oh, okay. All right, that's fine. All right, I'm gonna yeah. clean up. All right, so we're good to go then. I'm gonna clean up my um, old look. Yeah, and then the cooling system is uh... It's just cooling the tanks below. Right. Yeah. So as soon as uh um as soon as you get your uh generator cooling up and we can test it, then we can revisit the uh heat exchanges. The oxygen is minus fifty one degrees, I assume. Yeah, and then our nitrogen because uh I melted a bunch of ice, so that's probably why. Um, all right, there's a couple of things I think we should do, but let's go down to the tanks below here for a second. All right. I'm not going. Now, once again, the, the gauges above are reading off the small tanks, and because the big tanks and small tanks are, quote, two different networks, if we want to see what's down here, uh, is there data ports off the big tanks? Oh, there isn't. Yes, there is. Oh, there they are. All right. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now you want to put big uh, exchange servers or exchange uh, heat exchangers, right? Um. Actually, I was thinking of putting in smaller ones. Oh, interesting. Um, right. And now I'm thinking about putting in bigger ones. I vote for bigger ones because in my little uh, single player save, they, they're very quick. And that's what I like. And I'm thinking we probably yeah. don't need the research system with those. Uh, actually, I think we do. Okay. Um, but I want to switch from a gas common refrigerant to a liquid common refrigerant. All right. I'm going to use water then. For some. All right. Yeah, probably water. Well, let me um let me So the 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 gray pipe is once again the general gas circulation that's sending a specific yeah, it's temperature the shared coolant line. Yeah. yeah which is currently sitting at minus 55 degrees. And that pumps into one side of the heat exchange for each separate gas. So that way we're getting the same amount of cooling to each gas, unless of course that gas is colder, right? Uh, I'm sorry, unless what? So right now our cooled gas is minus 55 degrees, what's circulating. But if we have something that's colder, it's not going to do anything to that gas, right? Uh, it could. All right. 
It could raise the temperature if it's colder. Um, does this also impact the large tanks? Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Because of the pumps, right? Because of the volume pumps. Yeah, I see. Okay. Yeah. Do we need this uh, filter down here anymore? Is this how you were? Not that I know of, no. All right, it's currently on. We can leave it there. It's not going to hurt anything. All right, let's um, we'll put this on Plan B. Um, because yeah. you're trying, you're trying to get. I'm not sure what the options are for mounting a um, one of those large uh, heat transfer things uh, upside down. <laughs> They're going to take up a lot more room. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Anyways, um, what do you want to do today, and how can I help you? Well, no. Well, let's uh, let's get the uh, generators online. Okay. So uh, let me double check the logic. Uh, yeah. Um, I think you turn on. Uh, no, it's not turned on the pumps yet. You had something to where you accidentally pumped. So where is all of our cool gas sitting at? Or throw my equipment around. All right, so there's nothing in the purple line, which then turns into the blue line, and there's 1.19 kilomoles in the big tank. Little tank, that's your methane. Right. Your, uh... Are we missing some? Uh... No, no, wait, yeah, so, we're... we're missing some nitrogen somewhere. Yeah, this pipe here is completely empty. All right. Well, the big tank has got 1.19 kilomoles, but it's really cold. And do you have a process of, of heating it if it comes back too cold? Yeah, fortunately, I'm not sure it's working yet. Okay, so that's... All right, okay, so in the in the pipes going to the generators, there's another 1.15 kilomoles. I think that's that's all the gas then. Uh, that should be twice that much, though. Well, if we take the one point. I think we had like 3.9 kilomoles, so 1.15 plus 1.9. Yeah, we're, we're missing a little bit. I think we had like six kilomoles in there at one point. But, oh, we can try it with three. That's fine. All right. All right, so is what I'll do is I can cycle all this cold stuff back so the generators won't be able to turn on because it's too cold. And you're heating it out oh, from the uh, from Caden, uh, Kata's uh, logic here, right? Yeah, um, which I'm not sure is working yet. All right. Oh, we got a blown pipe I'm looking at right here. Water pipe. Oh, that explains the ice on the ground. <laughs> well, I wouldn't release gas. I would re release water. This will now is I'm assuming the logic is on line for the radiators, right? Uh, oh, uh, yes. Hey, Torch, how you doing? I know I keep saying exchange servers and it's partly because <clears throat> when I worked at Intel, I was responsible for my group's exchange server, which didn't require a whole lot of maintenance. I did it for seven years. You need me to check that logic? Um, yeah, if you got a minute. 
Yeah, that's right. I, I'm just waiting for the steel sheets to be produced. Right, I'm gonna go get some insulated pipes here. I can trade you. Um, I can monitor some steel sheets in my factory. Bugs! Spiders! So top side's at 46% or 47. Oh, some, tish posh, some... tish tosh, and all that bloody other stuff. <laughs> tish tosh. All right, sun's coming out, so we didn't drop down to 55%. Are the generators on? Because I see. Get a visual. Oh, the gas pipes burst too. Oh, it is on. I'm making some water pipes here. I'll be right there in a sec. All right, so the um, the big uh, heat exchanger or the uh, reed eater is tracking the sun. Very nice. I go get it. Yeah. Nicely done. Let me see if I can find some water here. You brought some. Um, I brought oh, some. Did. Wow, awesome. Thank you. You don't want water around the laptop, though, okay, Kata? Moshe's gonna get you on that. Pack's working. Um, we just need to transfer the water. Is that it? Oh, there we go. Also, this, uh, Purge valve up there is off. 
Yeah, you shouldn't need to be on it there. I'm just checking something. Mm. Oh, that's how water got into that gas line. Alright, so the, um, the gas in the big orange tank is getting warmer. Nice. Yeah. Uh, what temperature did you want this to be maximum? Um, Five degrees Celsius? No, no. Um, this is a reheater, so it's going to reheat as long as that tank needs to be reheated. So, um, really, there's no limit uh, other than you know, making sure it doesn't burst the pipe. Uh, so how hot can it get? Uh, I'll set it to get to a maximum of uh, like 50 until the cooling hits in and a minimum of 20. Could it go to steam? Uh, yeah, but it'll, it'll condense when it cools down. So 10 kilopascals should be okay. So yeah. can I get okay. you guys some coffee or something? I already got coffee. All right, never mind. I'll, I'll, I'll take a tea. <laughs> tea. <sighs> oh, interesting. The uh, gas pipe on the heat exchanger over here uh, oscillates between 16 Celsius and negative 25 yeah it's it's um, like exchanging heat it's a little bit buggy but they should um, balance out so. yeah it's oh, uh, it's it's a digital valve that's causing it yeah the big uh, tank here just went up 10 degrees so this is working pretty well oh cool very exciting the only issue is that um, it can't heat at night time so um, we may need to get a larger heat battery of water at some point here. That's probably why it froze and broke, because um, if that's at minus, it's going to keep exchanging heat, even though it's not being heated. Oh, so more water. Uh, usually that's a solution, because you want uh, as big a battery as you can, and we currently have 199 liters of water. I know it's got a capacity for at least five times that, so... Right, yeah, so, so if, if you just below water and manually turn off the valve at night time until you get the, the battery in place, you sh or it's actually up to temperature, you should be okay. I'll keep an eye on it for now. Alright, thank you. I'm gonna see if I can uh, get some more water. Well, do you, um, uh, Kata, do you have all the water you need at the fish tank? Yeah, absolutely, it's fine. Well, then would it be advisable to redirect or just put a, a Y junction with a couple of valves and then put a, a, a tank, bigger tank down there? You can, you can put a tank down here or um, you, you can run that pipe across if you want, Ben. What do you think, Ben? Instead of sneaker net, do you want to have just a source go down there? No, I'm okay with sneaker net. All right. It's already at minus 31, though, so it's uh, going up quite quickly. Nice. And it's still heating while the sun is up. Um, Andy, remind me again where I go to fill up this, uh, refill this water tank here. Well, that's what I was going to say, because the only way we're doing it is over here. Um, I was just looking to see if I had any ice. Oops. Uh... 
I don't know, I forgot how to play the game. Um, you mean the ice crushers? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, we don't have any more ice. So we're gonna have to go get some. Um, all right, go get some ice. I'm with you. Right. Oh, I need a backpack. Yeah, I need a battery. Uh, now, um, do you think it's safe to crush some of these ice we have now if I just keep it to a certain type, not mix them? Yeah, it should be all right. All right. empty this time <laughs> yeah i i had that problem last time i'm gonna take my welding battery and swap that to my suit i think i figure out how to do that there we go and i'll swap uh, if I go to my mining belt, put that there. Uh oh. I almost fell to my death. You're fine. Is this digital uh, control by anything? Uh, Mount the or is it manual? Uh, it might be manual at this time, yeah. Just making sure, because it's uh, getting to night time. Yeah, it's night time. Uh, we'll explain a few things. <laughs> but it's reheated to minus 20. Nice. That's like almost instantaneous because it was minus 43. It was minus 53. What was it? All right. I've turned the valve off for now, but that's probably why the uh, water line froze if it was coming, if it was on uh, when it was minus and it got to night time. It can't reheat itself. It's the only flaw in this one. So how was yeah, it getting colder the then? Logic on that. Just because it was cold and it was just getting colder? Yeah, it was exchanging heat the wrong way. Oh, I got you. All right. I say once, uh, so once you got like a large uh, like heat battery there, it'll be fine overnight. Awesome, thank you for that. I mean, Ben, isn't that why you have the the, the uh, pipe warmers, pipe heaters, warmers? Is that for yeah, just? Yeah, I'm trying to reduce the power usage. Okay, all right. Because, you know, this thing already runs mine turbo pumps, and uh, that's, you know, kind of self-defeating in itself. <laughs> I think the moon is void of ice. I'm not finding any. Went the wrong I way. Not a lot, but I got some. I have found some. Finally. Kate, are you using glasses so you can see plumbing and wires behind stuff yet? Uh, I am on my uh, solo game. It's, oh, okay. it's really handy. Particularly when you're in an old base and you can't remember where you put everything. Uh, 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 okay.
So basically the um, large uh, radiator transfers the heat down to the water and the water is what heats the large tank. Yep, exactly. All right. So Monday, I'm going to be playing a brand new game. Never played it before. I'm not going to tell you what it is. You guys will have to tune in. Hopefully it doesn't, you know, break my brain. You gotta give us a hint, like what type of game it is. Uh, let me see. Hang on. See what I can say without ruining it. Um, it could be a scary game, right? I may scream like a little girl. Right, something to look forward to. <laughs> They're asking me what kind of game I'm gonna play on Monday. I'm not letting them know. I said it could be a scary game and I could scream like a little girl. You know, this is one of those things that I'm out looking for water. I'm finding silver, which I couldn't find before. Is that Murphy's Law thing? I'm finding teaser ice. Yeah. Little little blemishes on the surface. Yeah, with nothing behind them. Maybe we should invest in some of those mining goggles. We go out. You really should. They are um, incredible. The only thing I don't like about them, unless they fixed it, is like, say like you find a big pocket of something and you go mine it all, it still says it's there. It doesn't like reset or anything like that. Yeah, it I still does it a little bit, but it's fixed. Oh. They get the odd one. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not fully fixed. All right. We have a rocket engine. Oh, nice. I'd say you climbing to the moon, but we're already here. <laughs> we were just dropped off. No, I've uh, put the rocket over there in the corner. And I'm going to have to use all this space to do all the launch controls. Excellent. I'm just wondering, is it worth me um, piping the fuel from your fuel storage or getting some ice and um, making that? Uh, I'm so glad you amazing. asked. Yeah. I was thinking about, uh, Ben and I did this on a playthrough before and it was kind of cool and very tidy. We made, um, what do they call them in New York? Like access tunnels for all the conduits of plumbing and all that kind of stuff. So we have a source of fuel so if we want to keep it clean, so I'm using, that's why site B has got wireless because I'm trying to minimize the amount of clutter. So if you could try to project where a tunnel could go, I could help dig it and we could start sending uh, all the fuel and anything else that the tunnel would accommodate. It was actually kind of scary too because you get down there, you get turned around and going, okay, wait a minute. Am I going towards the habitation? Am I going towards the tower? Worked out pretty good though. Yeah, there's a crater here that you can start it in. All right. 
And see, we even have that tool so you don't have to make it neat and pretty because we can fill in holes and stuff. Didn't used to be able to do that. In fact, how I was going to do it, I was going to break out a couple ogres, do the vertical or do the uh, horizontal drilling. I, you'll have to show me how to use them because I've never got them to work. Well, uh, Electro said they work. Now, when I used them the first time, they worked real good. And then the second time I went to use them, they were broken. They would do like a shimmy dance when they would come back to drop off any ore. And then you'd have to stop and start them and then go again. So I don't know if they actually fixed it from that point of view, but they still dug a nice little horizontal trench. So, uh, so if you need fuel to experiment with, you can just set up a, you know, fill up a sneaker net, and then I'll I'll run a tunnel over. Sun's coming out. It's right in my it's right in my eyeballs. We have what looks like a rocket. Um, I just need to get the internals done and then um, fuel it up at some point. Um, so on, I think what we need is actually, um, we have lots of ice, but I mean, sorry, lots of gas, but uh, I guess we could use it for anything really, right? But you have to swatch it, swap out the components still, right? For the different types of mining. Uh, I think you just need to sort the drill heads out. Okay, yeah. I guess we could start basic and just get ore, get it to work. Yeah, I've never actually got one up, so it'll be interesting to see. Um, That'll be fine. What it's like on space. Well, the old one. We would get the launch, but Ben wouldn't see it launch. It was broken, so hopefully this one's not broken. I forgot what I did here. I, I think I broke my. I'm fine. I'm okay. That there. That there. That. And Ben. There's Ben. All right. So heading towards you now. You're 1.2 kilometers away. This is typical. I go out and find stuff. Now, as I fly back, then I start coming across loads of it. Which so far is not the case. Do those glasses for the ore and whatnot still have that annoying sound when they're on? It does, but it's quieter. All right. Oh, found some ice. We'll ignore that. Ben says he's hit the mother load. Water load. Iceberg.
Probably what I need to do is take the bin file, not bin as in bin, but the bin file, and uh, run it through that tool so it reduces it. I'm so excited today, I found a penny on the floor. Nice! You know what? I usually find a quarter in the laundry. Thanks, Alex. Right, you're 400 meters away. I have passed over a couple patches of water. Oh, water this time. Well, we might go back to yours because it looks like I just hit the end of this way. <laughs> Aww. 250 meters away. All right, I see you. I see you. Yeah, there's a, a tool that someone made uh, that you load in your game file, your .bin file, and it gives you a little bit of a, a GUI, and you can trim back. You got any more down there? No. Right. There's a silicone, but not nice. All right, so when I was flying this way... On your six. Yeah, let's see if I can remember which way I came. I might have got around. Here's some. You grab that one. I'll keep flying this direction. It flew over like two or three patches. You see that one? All right. Uh, oh, yeah, got it. Yeah, it does look a little new to me. All right, where did I put my mining backpack? Did I drop it accidentally? This one is not it. Oh, I think I dropped my mining backpack. Unless I'm, unless I'm very blind. I think I swapped it and dropped it. No, I found it. I found it. All right. That there, that in my belt. Ah, phew. There we go. I'm okay on my vitals, but I lost my backpack, but I found it. I'm good. All right, so it looks like this spot is... It's the base. Oh, good. I can't find you again. Makes me wish I had a uh, bigger mining tool. <laughs> hey, somebody coming over the horizon. It's me. Who that? So I'm just guessing. Uh, 
Yeah, keep going this. I think it's a little bit to your left. Mm. Unless you're going further away. Yeah, you're going the wrong way. Mm. Off to your right. Towards the base. Yeah, I'll figure it out. Let's see. So you're 250 meters out. You're actually towards the base. I did not think you were that direction. Yeah, oh, there we go. Yeah, keep coming. Hey, I got my tablet on it. Oh, okay, there you go. The fact that new train was spawning means it's going the wrong way. Well, it, it's also um, a rendering thing, too. I, I might have been out there before, and then it de-renders it. Unrenders it. Hey, good morning, Chris. How you doing? I hope you're having a great weekend so far. What's the latest update on the renovation project? Well, um... Renovating the home is going to be one of those ongoing things. Um, today, after I stream, Alex and I are going to go do some plywood glue-ups. And I'm going to try to make a very basic tool holder. I'm trying to tidy, organize the garage. But it, it's hard. It's difficult because when it's cold out there, I don't want to do anything. 40 degrees in the garage. Which means in the summer... It'll be unbearable. Here, there you are. Found you. But uh, I posted a picture of uh, my little tool <laughs> that I made to hold pencils and whatnot. But uh, the cleat wall is done. And um, probably... Maybe towards the end of the month, I might go get a couple more sheets of plywood and then think about doing a carcass for a cabinet with shelves. Just taking baby steps. Oh, um, the, the only the, the major electrical that we did was when we, so when I say we added a bathroom, we took a pre-existing room and partitioned it and, um, but we had to do that before we moved in. Uh, whoa. Uh, okay, I just dug through a... <laughs> I just dug through. I lost. Do you Come require on. assistance? No, no, I'm fine. Oh, there you are. All right, I think that's it for this uh, spot here. All right. I got half yeah, a backpack. Of those drills. <laughs> yeah. Actually, the pneumatic ones are just as good. You don't have to worry about the battery. But uh, the, um, were you able to install new breakers to separate? Yeah, we we actually had to do that for the bathroom because it was water. So I didn't go on the cheap, but there's two different ways you can do it. You can either have one GFCI breaker be the control point, which means your power has to come into that. And then from that, you can go do whatever you want with the power. Or you can actually have a breaker but it was very expensive. It was like almost 80 bucks just for the breaker. I said, nah, I don't think so. But in the garage, the wall that we created, uh, we put three power receptacles out there. And the house, before uh, before we moved in, we uh, the city actually, I'd say probably about four months before we started doing any renovations, put uh, municipal water. So we got municipal water instead of pump. Um, so the breaker that was being used for the water pump was a 20 amp. So I just reused that breaker for the wall. That was, didn't need a permit or anything. I found some more ice. And the only struggle with that was that for code, your wire that's inside a stud has to be a certain distance so like if this is a stud you just don't put the hole in the middle it actually has to be like what was it a quarter or three eighths so 
I still did that. And then you put your uh, your your nail protectors, but I use something else. I use something called Easy Guard. So that means I can still reuse the stud if I need to mount something because the Easy Guard is a a metal encased canal that you put into your hole. Um, that way the wire, the your your Romex that goes through, it still has metal around it. So if you try to put a nail or, or a drill through it, it'll hit that stop. I seem to put myself into a ditch. All right, I'm gonna head back to base. I got a half a backpack. Let's see how much water that gets you. One thing we had to do in the garage is uh, when we're putting up the sheetrock on the wall, there was, um, wasn't 14 gauge, so it must've been 12 gauge for the water heater. Notice I didn't say hot water heater. Uh, was going along the edge, but it was it was going to be behind sheetrock, so I had to reroute that. And that stuff was, you know, not hard or difficult. I just had to undo it all and then reroute it and stuff like that. Uh, the beacon is the one that you start the game with, but I have a wireless battery in there and it's within the charging range. So, yes, no. Yeah, the one that's a permanent one is a big power hog. So trying to use that one. Oh, oh dear. Swap. Fell in a crater. Yeah, it's incredible. Yeah. Beacon lasts a long time if you run a few days on a small battery. I'll show you what I'm doing. All right, so beacon is over here at greenhouse number one like i said it's the one that comes in your landing pod and um i just put a it's always on it's got a large wireless battery and it's next to an, an omni thing so as long as we have power that's always going to be on all right so let's put this here put that there Um, we're going to need another water tank, right? One to fill up while you have that one over there. Um, I guess. Or is one enough? Yeah, one's enough, really. I just okay. need to uh, refill the system like five times. Oh, I got you. Okay. All right. All right. Four or five times. Yeah. So, this has got 16 liters in it, so it's empty. I keep bouncing around like a Dean having fun with the canisters again. I was trying to do T, T wouldn't work. 
All right, now it's got 129 liters. Um, let's make sure that valve's on, good. All right, so let's make sure I have the right backpack. And there we go. Well, it's a lot better than before, if you remember, that when you tried to attach to, or when you tried to uh, transport these things, nine out of ten times you're always damaging yourself, hurting yourself. I turned the furnace on and it scared me. Why, why did the furnace scare you? It started slashing red at me. Oh. <laughs> I need some electrum. Wait, what furnace? Wait, what? The advanced furnace. Oh, oh, I got you. Oh, oh the light. Oh, I got you. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what is happening. That's, uh, that's Moshe, you know. afraid to get back into satisfactory i really am but i hear they're gonna go 1.0 this year well it's divided into sections a little bit so downstairs is all power generation um and then we have the mining section is separate <clears throat> what scares you about it um everything that they added so i stopped playing right when they added um nuclear power then they came out with drones trains all that kind of stuff so yeah I'm done here, returning to base. All right. Currently crushing ice and uh, Kata dropped off, I, I guess, the sneaker net bottle. tank is up to uh, 148 liters so far. Oh, so the tank temperature is at uh, 4.86. Um, cool. We can probably start cycling some of this stuff back through, right? Yeah. Is that one your ice one? No, it's empty. No, it appears to be an empty one. So there's a... Uh, over here where I was doing all my stuff, I'm putting all the empty ones. One of them's got oxide and uh, uh, volatiles as a mix. All right, so where am I looking for? Do you, do you have your thing full of ice? Yeah. Oh, you can just put it in the un unloader here. Uh, you put, oh, you put your belt. belt. <laughs> put your belt in there. Well, at least I programmed it right. Yep. 
I used another person's furnace and I didn't explode it. What? It didn't explode. I was really worried. Oh, oh good. Ben's got to reorganize his uh, belt. You spoke about wanting a, a tunnel through. Where you've got this little bridge going to it, it's like a perfect line towards your atmospheric area. Um, let's check it out here real quick. So our mixed fuel source is this one orange tank here. So, oh, I see, yeah, it's almost perfect. Yeah, so it can go right underneath there. All right. Yeah, as soon as we get this ice situation, I will start working, I'll find a ogre and uh, well, I tell you what, probably what's best is where do you want the fuel line to come up? If you take, uh, since we're using orange, if you want to place, oh, is that your tank right there? Okay, I see it. Yeah, it's um, it's just a rough example. It's far enough away that it won't explode if they... Okay. Yeah. Well, is, is, um... What if we tunnel down from here and then yeah, I mean, that way, yeah. Either way. It's nearly a straight shot. You may have to um, take a left yeah. about, about part way down, but, um, or um, you can come out in this crater, and then I can just do a short pipe underneath the frame. Yep. Checking ben, how Ben's doing. Ben, you okay over here? Yep. All right. Um, you got hole in there. Uh, won't work. Yeah, I accidentally collected some coal. I guess that's not going to melt, is it? No, but it's going to gum up the works here. Yep, that's going to be a problem. Uh, I got the coal here. Uh. Over here, there's a chute and inlet for the solid joint. You can just put it in there. Over here, where the solid generator is. There's an inlet right here. I don't see any more coal unless it's already trying to be crushed. Yeah, this uh, little tank is up to 188 meters. All right, I'm gonna go dig a tunnel. You gonna, you gonna be okay here, Ben? Yep, yep. All right. All right, so where do I make the ogre? Seem to have lost all typing capabilities. Kick it, makes it better. Yeah. Right. I was though. My key, my, my mouse is over on my other computer, so somehow I'm out of sync here. Hmm. 
I, uh... Weird keyboard thing. For some reason... Where's my mouse here? Just, I just can't type. Uh, gents, I'm going to have to uh, dump out of the game here. Have you guys disconnect real quick. Okay. Maybe. Yeah, no, I mean, I can bring up F1, but see, I click no typey. I can. All right. Um, yeah, see that that that's wrong. Hang on. Uh, I'm out, but I crashed. So you may need to reset Steam. All right. All right. So let me just uh things in sync here. Um, I'm going to reboot my gaming PC, which is good. So that'd be a good uh, time for a break, I suppose. So let me, um, let me do something here real quick. Find stuff. Go. All right. So I will be, be right back.
Getting things spun up again. So I don't use a real KVM. I use something called Synergy that allows me to go between multiple computers. And on a rare occasion, sometimes a keyboard part gets out of sync or something. I'm getting there. Let's make sure the audio is good. Right, let's make sure the audio is good. Sounds like me. Well, that's good. All right, relaunching station ears. Appreciate that. You can hear audio good. Level eight. Wow. Geist sounds German. Loading the save. Well, it seems accurate. Our thing count went up quite a bit. I made a new platform area. All right, Ben, why don't you go ahead and try to hop in? <laughs> F is fake, the Ben said. There's a few of them. <laughs> All right, hang on one sec. We get this back over to the game. Okay, bit of lag, but I'm back in. All right, let me do another quick save here real quick. All right, Kata, go ahead. I know. They're all fake. 
The letter that's not supposed to be there is fake. Uh, lemon. Yay! All right. Sorry about that, guys. All right. So that works. Good. Locking my keyboard to that one now. Go back to Ogre. Kit is made in the electronic printer. All right. I'm gonna go. So what I'm going to do is figure out, do some mining here. <clears throat> um, let's see here. Need to figure out how deep I want to go. Big tank down here is at uh, five Celsius, so good to go. Oh, good. All right. Um, all right. So let me. Um, let me. Re uh, so the stuff that's at the uh, generators is going to be too cold. So I'm just going to cycle that. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember how. And. There we go. <laughs> okay. So I'm cycling. We have minus 56 degrees Celsius and no pressure now. So let me see if I turn that one off. I think I got it all. Let's see. Uh, there is no pressure in the pipe here. I turn this off. Oh, the pumps are turned off. Okay, good. Well, that means that uh, this this one line should be drained and get my bearings here. So the feed in, which is the right, green and blue on. is it's got some moles in it. Now, did you turn on pumps? Yep. They're all on. All right. That's still cold. All right. So I'm going to cycle again. Not as cold. Uh, just as cold. Mm. The pipe's almost empty. Okay. So, does that mean this pipe is still cold here? This is still cold. big tanks at minus 20 degrees Celsius warmer and it's getting colder yeah oh that's the wrong setting somewhere because refrigerant in the line but that's it shouldn't be so the only heat source is when the um, when the sun comes out right yeah or whatever heats left in the water okay so you need some more water then. All right, the heat up. I didn't check, but how much water did you have in your system there? Uh, it was about 200 liters. Okay. We need to be like close to a thousand. All right, so this is at 248 liters. So I'm gonna bring this over now just to add to it. All right, I'm gonna see what's going on with the logic for uh... The cooling system here. I can't see where I'm running into something. Alright, 
Okay, so if I tried to do a T, yeah, a T doesn't work with a spazzy. All right, there's some more water. Fortunately, it's coming right, right from ice, so it's going to be very cold. Ben, would it hurt anything if I kept one of the recycling, one of the um, generators recycling gases that confuse the situation? Uh, well, we need it to throw heat back into the system, so it wouldn't do anything useful. Okay. I was just trying to keep the... I, I guess that's true, yeah. Yeah, it looks like, it looks like there's some kind of logic issue here because the refrigerant's in, but it's not supposed to be at this temperature. kicking on and off. Huh. Well, the water is 22 degrees. There's 366 liters. Mm -hmm. So, this is in this in-between state. I'm gonna go ahead and take. Uh, there's a little bit in there. I was gonna swap it. Oops, my bad. Just, I got it. I had it. I got it. So the temperature set points are 150 and 200. Which means um, Yeah, which means that it starts cooling at 200, which is negative 70. Thank you, that's 74. I think my set points are incorrect. Um, yeah, so what you're looking at there, Kata, in case you didn't catch a logic there, is um, if the refrigerant gets below 150 Kelvin, uh, that pump will suck the coolant out of the radiator and dump it into the tank. The tank that's on here, right? Um, once the pressure, uh, once the temperature goes up to uh, 200 Kelvin, then the digital valve opens, which dumps the coolant back into the radiators. Is the uh, pump turning on, or is it just uh, me? Because the, the valve is turning on, not the pump. Yeah, which means that the temperature is somewhere between 150 and 200. Uh, apparently it keeps getting... Um, yeah, it drops in and out of 200, I'm guessing. The problem is, I don't know what temperature I'm reading here. <laughs> it's the first thing I need to sort out.
uh, this pipe analyzer might be at the wrong location. Yeah, you could read the temperature from the tank. Yeah, yeah, let's do that instead. Um, yeah, it's wired in. And the uh, digital valve off of the heat exchange for now. Yeah, I gotta think through my uh, set points here. Yeah, there's no controls or on this heat exchanger here. This is what the issue is. I'm gonna repurpose that uh, pipe analyzer. <clears throat> Did you make some electrum, um, Ada? Yeah, it's always shoved in the um, into the rocket um, tool refinery. You can take some. Okay. Just let me know where you put it, because I'll probably need it back again soon. I, I I need it for the ogre component. And I'll probably put it back. Oh, I've got a bunch of electrical um, things if you need them. Be careful with the ogre. The performance update makes the drill vehicle disappear after it gets so far from the base, but it will still kill you if you stand in front of the drill. All right, yeah, I'm just gonna set it up here, see if it still works. Sounds like something Moshe should be involved in. Think? Do you need a lot of electrum for the um, for the rocket? Yeah, it's all the individual little parts okay. it needs. Okay. I mean, why is it they just can't put something in, fix it, and then leave it alone? 
Here comes the electron back. Yep. Oh, you know the old saying: if it's not broken, fix it. Sure. It's not. If it's if it's working, break it. Isn't there a piece of software that keeps software safe from being tampered with? Isn't that called safe source or something like that? Let's start putting everything on GitHub or something like that. That way, when you go to pull in code, if your code is being used by something else, you know, then you know about it. I don't know. I used it ever so briefly on work on my, at Microsoft. All right, so down below the tank here, I have a little shaft. Let's see here. Ogre, sit. Maybe here. Try that. Think of programming like a chef cooking food. Two chefs. Make it the same way. Um, no two chefs, man. Right, right, right. No, I, I, I get that. Okay, so evidently, that's probably going to be a problem. Wait, can I? So will that? So, oh, it will. So, oh, that's what I want. There, that's better. I mean, if they're just stepping on each other's code and stuff like that, that sounds like, um, <laughs> sounds like a big problem. All right, so what do I need? We need, um, did you say you had some electronic parts? Get it? Yes, I do. How many do you need? Uh, one. Can you just drop it down my, my sh the tunnel here? I shot the, the underneath your... Or come on down. Take a look at what I did. There you are. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, to, uh, throw it at me or weld it on there. I don't know what comes after electronic parts. You know, oh, I missed it. All right, then I need some iron sheets. This thing is ancient. I don't have any of those. Yeah. I think I actually, I think I recycled them all. Last time I successfully used this was on Mimus. Mimus? Mimus? I pronounce it. Oh, I need iron sheets as well. Huh. Now there is, over at Site B, there's a set of tools there. I don't know if there's any resources. Don't have an extra fuel tank on the uh, in the rocket. So see there, got rocket. Oh, they did change. So the overall platform looks like they changed. Okay, and then you got some gas tanks in there. Oh, some plumbing. All right, nice. Now I need steel sheets. I think I have steel sheets on. I do. Look at that. 
I've gone with the pumped engine uh, using gas rather than the liquid one. All right, so this thing is set. I just have to get some power to it. Let's see, I've got some cables on me here. really redone the whole rocket system, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, you can, you've got to do all the internals, you got to squeeze it all in. You've got to have a tower that's not too close, but not too far. If your wireless power reaches, you could run it on an APC with a wireless battery. Oh, that's a cool idea. Let me try that. Wait, I don't have to string wire and then break it down later. I'm gonna go over here and see if I what I got over. Here. All right, what's in the locker here? A lot of stuff. Oh, hey, look at there, an APC. I mean, I have a normal battery. There is a power transmitter in the cabinet near me as well. All right, let's see here. Let's see, if I go all the way down here, let's see if my batteries get charged. Hanging off the sides here, all right. Oh, well, it might help if I swap to a wireless battery here. All right, so wireless does not reach down here. All right. Okay, it, it's not, it, it'll get wires down there. your wireless reach now oh i i i'm i abandoned it i was gonna i, I didn't know what was going on i just I, I just want to get power if i keep switching from plan a b c d try to get one thing to work eventually i'm not going to get anything done so i'm just running a wire up i'll connect it i'll put you a heavy cable here you can use the apc you've got oh no I, i'm just going to go directly wired to it i don't think it needs to be heavy okay i'll shift it Cool idea, it just again it just power down there. It doesn't need that much, I don't think. If you wanna connect that end if you got cables. Awesome.
All right, we got power. There it goes. All right, while it goes off and digs that, I'm gonna go take care of some suit maintenance here. disappeared it's like uh after i said it's still digging though Blinking in and out of existence here. It must be backing up. I didn't get much. Got some ice. Do its thing again. Prince 
Pressure critical. Oxygen critical. Temperature critical. Power low. Good. Temperature critical. Low pressure. Take what little ice it found. Put in the crusher. Oh, we're gonna have to get some more ice. It's really cold in the tank. If I counted correctly, I just have, I don't know how many, I think I said counted five. So one, two, there's two there, three, four, and five. So the, I went down five, so I was going to put us at this level. Yeah, the ogre's doing. again I'll swap that Good. Oh. 
so much. How far have you gotten? Let's see. Like an invisible mining device. Cool but dangerous. Uh alright, so I'm gonna do some exploratory Estimate or guesstimate. A better way to do this is actually go through the tunnel. Someone left a pill on the floor right here. Uh, it's probably, uh, you know, Moshe saying, you know, say no to drugs. So, that. his next return trip should be the last i think the shaft is uh is gonna be done it's uh, a little bit off the beaten path but it's a big straight line hey you're missing a whole bunch of body and stuff you're weird be careful uh 
his drill still turns. So you may see him, but he might blink in and out. You're, you're missing everything. You have, you're floating. Yeah, so are you. <laughs> you're really? just a floating suit. <laughs> nice. Suit and head. All right, well. It's probably this tunnel. Probably got some magical elements. I'm just building a, a path here to walk next to him. As Electro said that he's still doing what he's doing. And if you get in front of him and his drill hitch, it'll kill you. But I, I've done a couple of, uh, I don't know what you call them, re relief. Um, so I don't see it drilling anymore. So So if you go top side, you'll see some frames poking out. Yep. And um, so he's almost underneath greenhouse number two. I think uh, probably stop and figure out the rest to find him. He's gone rogue. There he is. I'll just wait for him to return. Yeah, so it did follow the, the direct path, but at least, you know, it's directly underneath the tank and uh, we could just uh, go underneath the greenhouse number two or to the side of it with the, there's actually a fuel line that, that um, Ben has got labeled over there by the uh, advanced furnace. So we could probably tee off of that. Yeah, I was just looking at that now. It's it's a fuel line that goes nowhere. Yeah, so the main fuel line goes like, if you're looking at the tank, it goes to the right and then it junctions off towards the advanced furnace and then towards the normal furnace. And I was going to try to convert fuel into something using the, what is it, the, the hydrogenator or something like that, I'm trying to make water or something like that. But, uh, Futile effort. I'd be messing around with the composter to try and make lots of fuel. It's, it's okay. Well, I made the mistake of reading the small tank and thinking we're almost out of gases, but the large tanks are, are just plumb full. I need to get some uh, consoles hooked up so we have e better information. If I turn him off, is he just... All right, so he... he actually turns off, okay. Power critical. Oh jeez, all right, turn that back on.
All right, chances are. So let's go ahead and do a breakdown on him. Need him anymore. All the way to the end of his tunnel. And I believe, yes, I'm underneath. Oh, that's too far. I guess the ogre just doesn't have a range. It keeps going until it, there's no dirt or regolith or whatever you want to call it. see here so from here need some frames uh, I'm back with more coffee hey man uh, I brought over what water we had there's a little bit more being crushed but that was a few minutes ago Having just just seeing a floating helmet. 
Well, Ben, where are you at in the game? Uh, still a link system. All right. Well, evidently, uh, I see Kid as a floating helmet. He says me as a floating helmet. I see who else is a floating helmet. Uh, let me go check on him. I'm running to you to see if you're a... Nope, you're a full... All right. Oh, uh, you are a helmet with a head in it and a belt. But that's right. it. <laughs> that's what Kid is also, too. All right. Excellent. All right. Well, that's entertaining. <sighs> what I'm trying to do is build some frames here, so I, that way I can track where the tunnel is, and uh, get a, an idea of where his fuel line can go. Hopefully, hopefully that's enough. Let's see. Here. I think the easiest way to do it is to come over from here. And just kind of connect the dots. Oh, yeah, this is different. Uh, Kida is a head with a jetpack. <laughs> oh, evidently, I didn't know how far I went over. As long as it works, it's all good for me. It's uh, too much exposure to the moon atmosphere, not lack of moon atmosphere, or what, but expo just, yeah, exposure. I don't know. Dehydration? Yeah, something like that. All right. So I can't put a frame there. So what, what I would need to do is, let's see here. So we got a fuel line right there that we can tap into. Right there. So let's do one, two. So if I drill down from here, so drill. I need to drill where that is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that right? Seven.
right, so this should lead up if I did this right. out of steel I think Ooh, I can make uh, I might need to borrow you for a minute if, when you can spare All right down with the cooling yep on my way uh, what temperature did you want did you want ice or mineral oh. uh, hang on a sec oh uh, say again kid I'm sorry did you want an ice drill or um, a mineral drill? Let's try a mineral drill first. I'm just going to get the avionics set up and then we're good to go. Once it's fueled, obviously. All right. But it, it will need quite a bit of fuel because I've got two large tanks in there. Well, the shaft is, uh, is, is completed. Um, if you go down and go all the way across, you'll see a left, and then that'll go up to where a junction can be put in and uh, where the fuel line is. All right, what do you need, Ben? Okay, so um, apparently something changed in the game here, or I'm not synchronizing correctly here, I'm not sure. Uh, that compare unit, uh, it has a direct cable to the memory chip next to it. So I'm it supposed to be able to set screw number two and the only thing it should be able to access is that memory chip. For me, it does, for me, it doesn't access anything at all. Um, let's find out. So you want it to look at logic memory cooling control unit, right? Yep. There you go. Oh, so it works for you, huh? Yeah, I'm uh, the host. You're special. That's me. I'm a without a suit. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So, uh, very uh, proud of this. in the belt. That's awesome. <laughs> You got that? Uh, yep, yeah, got the screenshot. Thank you. I am going to uh, put out some pipes, frames, sheets. Uh, I've got about a 30 minute warning there, gentlemen. Yep. Here, let's load this up.
Do you know what we're keeping temperature now, Ben? I'm sorry, say again. Is your water keeping temperature? Um, let's take a look. Big tank is negative 74 Celsius. The digital valve is off, which I believe was intentional. The water is at 27 degrees Celsius. We manually overrode this here, so I'm going to turn it back on manually. This valve is on, so we can turn it off. Cryogenics, now this is the uh, fuel to the launch pad. <clears throat> um, <coughs> excuse me. Just trying to, trying to be a little tidy with it is all. Okay. Um
Okay, aside from welding up the fuselages, the, in the rocket's internals are all finished. fuel shaft is is all the way connected to your tank um i got some pseudo pipe laid in gotta make some more steel here get some Um, let's figure out what I want. I need some coal. Coal. Let's 
So it's a three to one, right? So it's 150 and 50, right? Iron. Yep. I need 300 iron. I got three. Done, what's up? Some fuel going in there. Uh, let's see what do we have in there is copper. Let's see copper. I'm so happy right now. I found a penny earlier today. I know you, you, you told us. I'm very, very ecstatic. Uh, we out of fuel or something? Not much. I, I hope not because I'm uh, trying to warm up the system down here. Right. Well, I know we pro probably have, yeah, there's that's now that's on okay somehow i think when i mixed it last time i turned off the valve yes done you're repeating yourself done probably look into that i'm not a doctor just no suggestion It should be close enough. Cut off. A furnace. I made some steel, dumping some hot gas into the sorting, the filtering facility. Make sure that works. 
I turned the centrifuge on as well, so there should be some heat coming from that. Yeah, the generator is throwing a bunch of heat in the, um, on the poopy line here. So the poopy line is at 1400 Celsius. Let's be aware. Uh, I, up here it's 1.72 double K, so pretty warm. You could at B though, I'm gonna try to transfer some heat into the cooling system. Okay. If I can find those radiators I removed the other day. While I'm printing those out, let's go check out the rocket site it has been working on. We have the umbilical system here. Really change that. And we have the avionics package, a couple of fuel tanks. You got the, uh, oh wow, you got, you have to put that in manually now, huh? Wow. Wow, they really broke it down. Huh. Okay, good job, Kata. What's this gizmo? Looks like a cellular tower. Do we get it's 5G? Just a rocket link. Oh, do we get 5G here? It'd be nice if we did. No, uh, probably only two and a half G. Bummer. If you come over this computer, you'll be able to see the new interface. Oh, take a look. Just click the, the, the open UI bit at the bottom. Oh, right, right. I saw screenshots of this, right? And then when you go to the map, there we are. <laughs> and then you do your, uh, you got gotcha. you. Oh, wow, this would be cool. All right, nice. Good job, dude. All right. Now I just need to work out to get this thing to charge. Doctor said the moon should be 0 0.167 G. We're already there. How else if I plug the battery in? What? I never plugged the battery in. Hmm. Yeah, it's charging. All right, I think I got the cooling system stabilized. All right, I'm eager to uh, come down and see how I can mess it up. <laughs> All right. All right, so. The where you're at, that should be charging the line to a certain pressure, right? Yeah, I it's not doing a very good job right now. We're setting it to four megapascals, and it's five degrees. All right, only one point yeah, three temperature, right? But there's almost nothing in the pipe. All right, so. Um, 1.84 kilomoles here. How come we're not seeing any coming down? Valve's open. Yeah, 
Yeah, they're are they just drawing it too fast or something? Um, the vents are actually on right now on one of the generators. Oh, okay. Um, I got it. But actually, no, that's fine. Because uh, this is actually a good test right now. All right. The um, so the the tank is low pressure, but it's got a lot of kilomoles. 1.88 kilomoles at 86.9. Yeah. All right. So if it's there, then why isn't it past the turbo pump? All right. All right, so we're going to play around with uh, generator number three. I'm going to turn off the cycling, okay? Okay. All right. That's off. So the pressure should be building. And it is. Nice. Okay. Good temperature of that four point five six Celsius. I saw that. Yes, very cool. So, in addition to that tank, is there any more gas anywhere? No. Interesting. Well, uh, let's check the purple pipe here real quick. All right. The the uh, blue and white has got a fifty five percent stress level. The volatiles are getting cold. They're liquefying. Got um well then. <laughs> <laughs> the tank uh, over here is only minus seventy three. here real quick um the pressure is 156 kpa with a temperature of negative 150 celsius stuck logic preventing it from being pulled from the cooling i don't know According to the wiki at this temperature, um, anything above 750 kPa should liquefy. But we're not at 750 kPa, we're at 150. <laughs> so why are the fault till it's liquefying? must have lost some nitrogen somewhere or it's somewhere and I just don't know where to look uh, well, I need to check the reverse here I uh, see volatile is at 150 kPa Volatiles are liquefied minus 150 at 106 kPa. At this pressure, it'll liquefy at 122 Kelvin. I just thought I'd stop your pipes exploding. Alright, so I've got generator number three on. Pressure's holding it. Well, now it's, we're losing it. Which is 150, so. So you should get some warm nitrogen back there. The uh, stress has gone down here, so there is heat being fed into the system. I did that. I'm responsible for that. 
Yeah, yeah, the digital valve is stripping on and off here. Mm. Okay. Perfect. Um, huh. I guess I could just put in the uh, liquefaction protection circuit back there, like one of those three tanks that's not hooked up to anything. And, See if that helps. Um, yeah, now you just got to figure out which section of the network I'm going to connect it to. Because it tends to uh, leave some volatiles in the radiator system, even though it's supposed to pump everything out. All right, sending some more heat back there. So we need to get a lot more nitrogen. We lost it somewhere. Maybe we had a burst pipe and yeah. we found it too late or something. All right. We can do that next Sunday. That should be pretty easy. Just use the, well, the, the red line now. We can make it the green line and connect nitrogen. Yeah, we got a liquid protection uh, system over here that's already colored in red, so we'll use that. All right. And I'll put the temperature I, sometime. I got some pipes to hook up and some welds, and then we're out of here. I'll head back to the greenhouse in a second. Uh, Katie, did you uh, see your pipeline? I did. I got a desync, so I could only see the tunnel you dug, not the one the 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 um, oak dug. Oh, okay. But I can connect that up, and then hopefully next week we'll be able to launch that rocket. Yay, rockets! Yeah, if we have an, uh, if we get enough fuel mixed, uh, our mixed tank was. A little low and of course from the moment we open up the floodgate um that whole pipe section is going to be like a portable tank yeah i'm just babysitting your pipe at, uh, for, a, for a second then yeah see if the pump's on right now it means that the coolant has reached uh 200 kelvin At minus 187. I did manually turn on the uh, thing because uh, your pipe stress was at 70%. Yeah. Yeah, your tank is like your tank is liquefying as well. I just had a null oh, wrap. Lovely. My end. Yeah, we we'll have to implement that uh, protection. Uh, I gotta get around the tank to do this. I've got wires all over the place. <laughs> Uh, this side you'll be able to. Yeah, I'm gonna connect it to back here. Unless I just move the whole thing over. Um, I guess I could do that. Yeah, I'll have to wait till next week. There's a bit of heat in the system, it should be okay. Yeah, max stress I saw on the pipes was 56%, which uh, happens just very gradually, so I think it'll survive, um, but definitely we'll need to address that issue. It's gonna pull all the gas out of this pipe so there's no explosions at all. Well, I'm not gonna run the game until you guys get in it. Next Sunday. Yeah, I think it'll be okay either way, but yeah. Need to head on to ninety pascals.
And the and the reheater hasn't exploded this time, so that's progress. I'm putting more heat Hooray. back there just in case. Running generator number three just manually here. Losing pressure. So in, in addition to that, we need to probably get some more nitrogen. Uh, brushing the water, I, sh I should get some. We can make a nitrice run. It's not a big yeah. deal. No, I, I'm. I, th that was the problem I ran into last time. I thought we were out of nitrogen because I was looking at the little tank. I look at the big tank that we have tons. Unless you drain the big tank. Uh, oh, yeah, so the big tank has got 66.2 kilomoles of nitrogen. Okay, I'm going to borrow from that. <laughs> yeah. Plenty of gas. It's going to be get... interesting when they change that gas into methane, though. The nitrogen? Yeah, the volatiles will become methane. Uh... No, 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 no. I, I was... Okay, so right now our hydrogen... Yeah, I've got 18.7 kilomoles. I thought here. volatiles were going to be hydrogen and X or pollutants were going to become methane. I'm not too sure. I, I'll have to load up the Baylor branch and have a look what they're messing with. It's going to be interesting. And uh, we're going to have to take a shower. <laughs> okay, the the main reserve is, is warming up. So it's is losing liquid, so it's not going to explode on this. All right, cool. Heading back to greenhouse. So next Sunday, um, it's more nitrogen into the cooling system back there for the generators to be cooled. We have plenty. Um, right now I am mixing gas, but it's coming off the small tank. So we got to figure out a way to transfer gas from the big tanks to the small tanks. Yeah, we can reuse the uh, transfer line there, the one I painted red. Okay. It's empty right now. It makes all the run all the way along. So. All right. So we can just put some green dots on that. No, it's nitrogen. Yeah. See what happens when... Uh, Data gets in his chair, see if it's just a chair sitting in a, or a helmet sitting in a chair. All right, I'm out here. All right. Oh, yep, yeah, he's a floating head in a helmet. That's weird. All right, guys, see you next Sunday. Bye, guys. Yep. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new game. It's probably going to scare me a lot. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Let's roll some credits here. West dude, thanks for the bits. Notable, thanks for the resub. Appreciate that very much. That was 75 month resub too. Banana, thanks for the uh, raid. Guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one. See you guys.